For a lot of readers, a book getting an adaptation is the end goal for that story. It's a great way to introduce a story you love to a lot of people who otherwise would never get to experience that story. And there is something kind of magical about seeing characters you know and love and a story you love being shown on, whether it's the big screen, small screen, whatever. Uh, an adaptation is always a pretty cool thing to get, especially with genres that I like, like fantasy and science fiction, where uh, they are not always the highest quality. But I came up with a list of uh, about 10 things that I would like to see uh, made into an adaptation, and I'm avoiding some of the more popular things, like I'm not just going to mention Stormlight, Mistborn. I have a few things that are a little bit off in the beaten path that are still pretty popular that I would like to see uh, made into either movies, TV shows, and I'll mention that as we go along. First up, and actually the inspiration for this list, is Hellmouth by Giles Christensen. This is a very gritty book, and uh, it's actually technically a novella. It's rather short. You could read it in one sitting. It's a, it's a good read. I recommend it. And I read this earlier this year, and I think like January 1st, actually. And in this story, we follow a group, or really a knight and his group, as they kind of make their way to a church and face things that they could have never expected. And it kind of gets a little supernatural there at the end. And I can remember reading this, and I think I even saw some reviews that also said the same thing. But the whole time I was reading it, I was just like, this would make an excellent movie and particularly from like a studio like A24 uh, I, if you're familiar with the Northmen that they did uh, th that same kind of grittiness I think would fit super well with this story it has just enough to make like you know like a quick 90 minute film uh, with some pretty cool things there's some really good action and I think they could just do a wonderful job bringing this to life on the screen next up and this is a book I just read in October and that is The Troop by Nick Cutter I think this would make a perfect like one season long TV show like eight episodes I think it could really wrap up this story super well. If you're not familiar with the story, we follow a troop of Boy Scouts on a deserted island and an unexpected guest comes and brings some trouble along the way. This book, uh, I just did a review for it pretty recently so you can go see the whole review there, but there are some uh, different elements that I think would work really well in uh, a TV show, help flesh out some characters, you could see, get some flashbacks, and just a, a lot of different things that I think would work really well here. Uh, there's definitely some very disturbing material here, so maybe a place like Netflix wouldn't be the best place for it. Maybe something like an HBO would need to pick it up to really kind of do it justice. But I think somewhere around the six to eight episode mark would make this a great story. You could probably do it in like one long movie, but I really think getting to develop uh, some of the characters a little bit more and just like get the ability to connect with them uh, in what we could get in uh, like six episodes long TV show would be awesome. Next up, I have an author who is getting an adaptation. I can't remember which one. I think it's Dark Matter or Recursion. Blake Crouch is getting uh, made into an adaptation, I think with Apple TV, but I would actually really like to see his book Run, which is the first Blake Crouch book I read. I'd really like to see that get made into, uh, it would probably have to be, depending on how they did it, it could either be one movie or they could really span it out and expand the world a little bit and probably get like two or three seasons of like decent uh, TV out of it. I mean, when I was reading it, it kind of gave me Walking Dead feels in a completely different way, but just some of that vastness um, that you get with like the crazy uh, moments that happen when zombies are there that you get in The Walking Dead. Uh, I had similar vibes with Run. Also, there's a really strong family structure here that I think people would really gravitate towards and just kind of like some of the grittiness and uh, just like the journey that goes on to this uh, throughout the story. Uh, some people could probably argue that it's kind of similar to The Road by uh, Cormac McCarthy, but I think Run uh, is different enough in its own way that makes it interesting and I would like to see it. Now let's move on to some fantasy editions and I read uh, this book earlier this year and it's actually another novella and that is Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee. Uh, this is a book where we follow a young girl and her quest to kind of have revenge uh, and it involves these giant birds that are really awesome. I think there could be some really cool visuals here and again this is another story where I think they could kind of expand the world. We got like hints and bits about the world uh, on a larger scale uh, in the book that they could expand into like a multi uh, level, a multi season TV show, or they could kind of just do like one quick 90 minute movie as well. I think that's a nice thing that this one has that flexibility. Personally, I think I would rather them flesh out the world more. I think it could be really interesting to uh, see uh, maybe multiple outposts 
uh, with the, the giant birds and some of the like the political stuff that's going on that we just get hinted to just a little bit. I think it could be really fleshed out. Uh, you know, definitely add some more characters. This one really only follows really two characters, and I think you know it had the would have the ability to make an interesting enough TV show. Next up is A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin, and I'm pretty sure I have heard rumors that this is going to be a TV show soon for HBO. And I actually made a whole video when I read this that I think this will be the best Game of Thrones adaptation. I think it offers something different than both Game of Thrones and A House of Dragons, where those are definitely high epic fantasy with, uh, you know, like super high level politics and stuff. I think the way they could do uh, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms and have it a much more grounded, uh, you know, experience of Westeros could be really cool. Yes, there are definitely important political players in this story. Uh, if you haven't read it, you don't know what I'm talking about, but there are super important people in here. Uh, and I think there's a real journey here for uh, these specific characters and I think getting that more close in you know narrow scope of view with these characters would be a, a good change of pace and we would get to experience things that there just isn't time for in the House of the Dragons or Game of Thrones it would just kind of let us experience a lot of different things that more grunt level kind of view I think would be great and I just think this is a series that maybe we could have a little bit more levity to it a House of the Dragon especially feels very very grim and I'm all for that but it's not a bad thing to get a change of pace, especially in that world. Westeros is one of my favorite, you know, fantasy worlds. So to be able to experience it in different ways is just fantastic. And so if this does actually get greenlit to be an adaptation, I will be super excited for it. Another series that I have heard rumors that will be an adaptation soon, and that is The Murderbot Diaries, the first book being All Systems Read by Martha Wells. This is a super fun uh, series. I'm not 100% sure how they would adapt it. I, personally, I think it would have to be uh, a long running TV show. Uh, there's some like inner monologue stuff that I'm not 100% sure how they would get to come across on the screen, but the humor in this series I think would just be fantastic. And um, once again, this story definitely has like a character arc where we could follow Murderbot and kind of how they change and evolve and their thoughts and opinions. And we don't even have to stay just in with Murderbot. I think this is obviously a space, uh, you know, expanding story. We could get a lot of different things and there's some, you know, interesting political things going on that they could probably, you know, weave in there as well that I think would be really interesting. Next up, I have We Are Legion, We Are Bob. And I think this one might be the most difficult one to make into an adaptation solely for the fact that uh, there's a lack of human bodied characters I think is the best way to say it and so I'm not 100% sure how they would handle that I, I have a general idea they could probably just uh, project you know have a projection of our main character instead of them just being a disembodied ship but I do think this would be another fun lighthearted series I think uh, you know Recently, a lot of sci-fi stuff I have seen has been like super, super serious. And I don't think it would be bad for something like Murderbot or We Are Legion, We Are Bob to kind of bring some levity back to sci-fi. It doesn't always have to be so doom and gloom, destruction, you know, space opera, galaxy destroying stuff. It can it can be, you know, humorous and fun and lighthearted. And uh, for this one, I do think that maybe like animation might work better for some of it because uh, some of the travel and things that happen in this, in this story. But if they wanted to do a live action TV show, which is, I don't think the way I would go, they could probably do that as well. With the success of the Martian movie, I think it would be remiss of me not not to mention a Project Hail Mary. I'm pretty sure I already saw that this is greenlit to be a movie. It's like already in production and things are happening. Not sure how the strike affected it, but this is a great story. I think that the characters in it would be super interesting. And I'll be very, very interested to see how they handle the, the sidekick character in the, in the movie. Uh, I do want it to be a movie. I like The Martian. I think it would be a great adaptation. It, I don't know. I don't want to say that Andy Weir wrote this to be an adaptation, but it definitely kind of had that feel of like, I know this is coming and that people are going to want to see this on the big screen. So uh, I'm definitely one of those people and I'm very, very interested to see one of the characters. Last up, I would like to mention The Never Ending End of the World. This was a really fun book and I think it would make a really interesting adaptation. I think there could be some super, super cool visuals in here with the way the story works and the loopers that are in it. I think the visuals that you could have with your characters kind of winding in and out of cities that are still active, but decaying in a different kind of way would be super, super cool. Uh, you know, there's still large enough pockets of people where I think, you know, you can still have uh, storylines that aren't necessarily just in the book itself, but you know, you could have an expansive world uh, that, you know, really is a mystery at heart, but with some light science fiction elements to it. I really think it's something that in a post Walking Dead kind of world where you know, apocalyptic stuff, uh, you know, doesn't really have like that champion right now. I think this could be a good candidate for that.
that. But those are just a couple of things I would like to see adapted uh, here in the near future. Let me know some things that you would like to see uh, on the big screen, on the small screen, whatever it is down in the comments below. And as always, have a good one.